Okay, so I was thinking we made Knives Out. We have a movie that's the opposite. It's a bed and breakfast, like Ammon thought of, with yeah. his cute little face. Yep. Yeah. And then, you know... My beard sticking it, outwards instead of downwards. Yeah, that's like no that. sodium. That's what it says. No what it does. sodium means I have iron hair. It's yeah. kind of strange. Anyway, it's a bed and breakfast. And I was thinking the main theming would be we have a couple who hasn't seen each other in a long time who had an affair, but they've been, you know, like they're both of their uh, spouses have died. And so they're meeting up at the bed and breakfast and they made prearranged plans. So it's like it comes from the perspective of the people working there at the beginning of the movie, but there's different perspectives. And so the first part is the, you know, those people making their plans and then the, like them getting it, you know, like writing letters that you can't see. And then the arrangements, you like them reading like what their room arrangements are and stuff. Yeah. So they just say, that's strange. They're both showing up separately, but they're supposedly a couple, you know what yeah. I mean? And they're like, whatever. Respectively, but they want to pretend, They want to hopefully get together, right? Obviously. That makes sense. Yeah, exactly. So, anyways, then there's a young couple showing up for comparison who's uh, just, you know, in a whirlwind romance, you know, like... Yeah. But, you know, they, they constantly argue anyways because they like to, because they're terrible people. So it's like the opposite where the but other like, people are, like, have learned and they haven't. Secretly, they're vulnerable... But they want to pretend they're worse than they are, and then some minor traumatic accident finally brings them together at the bed and breakfast, like a kitchen fire or a collapsing, um, you know, like they go out onto the area where, like, it's being fixed, the uh, upper porch area, stick out veranda, whatever they call that, and then, like, they fall through or whatever down onto the swing that'd be pretty cool that'd be a cool little thing yeah so anyways a bunch of other characters show up that have different reasons for being there that have you know booked their residences because it's sort of like a little storybook type of feeling you know yeah like almost hallmark but not really hallmark you know what i mean like yeah. like it's it's a little more realistic in tone but not too much like you know hallmark's like nothing but like shininess and like yeah it's like fluffy people like talk like it's like the 1700s yeah what i'm like, saying we, is... <laughs> we aren't looking for that we want like modern modern like, drama snappy drama you know? yeah so yeah like the kind of well, that's why it's got to be it's like the opposite of knives out you know because it's about people sort of getting along but not getting along instead of pretending to get along but not getting along at all like in knives out yeah exactly yeah uh, so but yeah, so I was thinking Tom Holland because he's got the ass to, you know, fall through an upper porch area and down through an awning of a porch swing and down onto the cushions, you know, and like make it look good, like boom, you know. With he, great he, power comes great ash, by the way. Better be doing your booty bands. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, what was uh, the other thing I was thinking of? Oh yeah, I mean, I, she's probably getting so busy now with all these movie roles we've been giving her, but we could have Sandra Bullock be in it. Yeah. Uh, does she what what do you think is she, is she one of the older uh, people getting back together or does she work at the place I'd say she works yeah, at the place yeah I think place. she works at the place she'd be a great you know person who like takes care of people at a bed and breakfast whatever yeah. you call them maitre d' or no that's not what it's called what ignore that <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give her the major d' <laughs> <laughs> Matron D's. Okay, you're getting distracted. I'll give the major D to the matron D double D's. Okay, sorry. No. Focus so energies. Okay. Um, Anyways, um, let's see here. Who else? What, give, give, we... give that little shy Laboofier. Give that shy little. Dude, boofer. yeah, he hasn't been anything, and he thinks his beard's better than mine. So I need to see it in a new movie. He needs to prove. I'm not saying my beard's any good yet. I'm just saying he has to prove he still has a beard better than mine. Anyways, um, yeah. Um, uh, maybe you said a few other people, um... Let me think. What were you saying, uh... Um... But you know that feeling in like, okay, here's what I was thinking. You know the feeling of like, um, you know, like Italian families in the cheesy early 2000s movies where they're all like, 
Mamma Mia, kitchen, my pasta. Mamma Mia, you know, but we don't have to make it that Italian, you know. Yeah. Sandra Bullock could be like, you know, directing stuff for like a busy weekend of people arriving, you know. So we need, other than the two couples, we need other people reacting to the two couple shenanigans, of course. Yeah. So, um,. Crap tan America, of course, because he was in the other movie, and he has to prove he's like dynamic and can do the opposite. Like right. he's the keystone, because he has to prove, you know, that he's he's play level acting. Yeah, you know? he needs the keystone pipeline his bullshit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> um, why do I, I? I don't know. Who else? I keep keep getting this feeling like. That, you know, Sandra Bullock worked with, um, uh, quite a few movies, actually. What, um, why can't I think of his name? Uh, I want him for Merlin. Um, I can never remember George his Clooney. name. Yeah, um, he, I don't know, he could work at the Ben and Breakfast. It's his type of movie, I guess. I yeah, know. I mean, we could go with the old cliche of, uh, trying to get Brad Pitt in it again. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, I mean, if you want. I don't know. Um, the point here is that it's like kind of like a play feeling movie. So, like, you know, I know people are into that. You know how it was. As already. if, as if, Bad Pitt's into it too. He lo <laughs> he loves plays. Yeah, I know. So you know. So I'm just saying, you have a bunch of people there, and they can play as much of a role as they want. You and know, you this get, is you my challenge. You could get Gerald Butler coming yeah. all the way from Scotland to hunt some <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> yeah, but like you can have my challenges to all these people now who have been getting on board some of our projects now. You know, like Loretta Sage and all that stuff. This should be like a fun side project, like. I don't want to develop all the script for this. Like, I'm just putting the layout here. And then, like, we need, like, some character lines. Like, because, again, I want people who can just sort of character act in that direction while still limbering up and, and you know, feeling macho that they can, you know, act a little bit outside of their own character, you know, how everyone wants to do. They want to feel like they're not just being typecasted, you know, whatever. Whatever... <laughs> Floats their goats, you know how it is. I, I want to be typecasted as that guy that gets fucked and paid. Yeah, in that order. Wait, no, paid, then fucked. That yeah. order. Okay. I like that order even better. Okay. I mean, it can be at the same time. I No, same time. That's the best. <laughs> shove, don't, no, don't shove, no. No, don't do that. Just between my toes. Just insert money between my toes. It'll be sensual, trust me. Okay, we're getting distracted again. Okay, my, my point here is, is that what you need is we gotta have, like, um, uh, we gotta have Anne Hathaway there, you know what I yeah, mean? And she's, uh, broken yeah. her legs on a ski trip, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if she's currently indisposed in the cancer region of the multiverse of madness <laughs> known as death. Yeah, we, we just, uh, we bring her back, you know, everybody needs to get a Ouija board and just... <laughs> wiggle it around together while they all touch her the, the Ouija board if they ever touched anyone that she had sex with in Hollywood. <laughs> and then they'll, they'll summon her particles. Drag her bacteria back out of their loins. No, that's not how it works, no. <laughs> I'm making fun of everyone. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's not the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Never. That's what I'm saying. I, like, want to... Go on a date with people or a person and then, like, feel, like, excited sexually, you know what I mean? And then, ooh, who knows where the evening might lead, you know? <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah. You know who we really need in the movie? Yeah. We need Jack Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why not, if he's already... We're already thrusting him into the limelight vigorously. I don't see why not. I mean, he's the guy who shows up who's, like, telling them that, like, the inn is secretly, you know, in disrepair, you know. And, like, she's trying to, like, pay him off with, like, delicious pie, you know, Sandra Bullock, you know. Yeah. That sounds pretty funny.
Yeah, and Emma Watson's the next door neighbor who gets way too long of scenes because I want to stare at her face. She's the next door neighbor who has like apples or something, and she's just she's just pressing apples for cider and different things. I, I don't care. Yeah, and in slow motion, in up slow and down, motion, in different directions, doing different vigorous tasks yes. with her wispy hair flying away. Yeah, including, definitely. including riding a horse in slow motion. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, you know Keanu Reeves from Destination Wedding, him and that 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 fine looking piece of uh, you know Spanierita need to show up at the the place you know too at the at the at the inn. You know what I mean? Yeah. From Destination Wedding. That's what I believe. That's what they were from. Whatever movie they were in. Yeah. It's like as if their characters are carrying over yeah. from their stupid movie why where they're arguing we... and swearing a bunch. Yeah, why can't we mix it over like that? I like it. And because um, apparently Salman and Antonio Banderas love to do Mexican telenovela shit, uh, they can just be there, you know, like as if they're star-crossed lovers, but they're always there. They just eat there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just eat there. Yeah. <laughs> so they're just there, like, snooping on everybody and eating there. I mean, yeah, if they got fresh fruit pies, you know, with, you know, brown coconut sugar, you know? Just like, you know, old Mammy Milkers used to make. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. Who else? Give me Jennifer Connolly. Bring ghost David Bowie back from the dead. I need a David Bowie impersonator there for no reason. And he oh, he juggles like fucking balls, you know what I mean? In the corner. Yeah. I don't know why. And, and she's like, thinks she's going mad because yes. she keeps seeing him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. I'm like sorry, that. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see here. I, I just, uh, give me, give me a Hulk. Not, not the Hulk you're thinking. No, 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 no. Original early 2000s movie Hulk. He He's just there. I don't know. He got in a car accident and, you know, he just, like, walks up the road in the rain. You know what I mean? Then we need, <laughs> we need Samuel L. Jackson because there's no black people with it yet. And we need him to be a broke-ass nigga whose car's broke down. And he's trying to steal from the inn, but he gets caught up in the drama because everybody's in one place too much. And, and moving around constantly, he can never steal anything. <laughs> Because <laughs> he needs gas money. <laughs> and he says, God damn, these white people, Mexican people, Chinese people. I thought the ghetto was dramatic. Okay, so uh, you get Simu Liu in there and yeah. his dog. Yeah. Because it's dog. a pet friendly place. Yeah. Yes. It's just supposed to be a fun movie. You can see Mulee and his dog in there. Yeah. I, I mean, hell, you can get Ryan Gosling in there if you want his dog. Whoa, yeah. It's a man-dog love association. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be a problem. No, they're, 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 they're meeting. They're, they're planning, you know, on starting a chapter, you know. And <laughs> they, they have to, you know, get comfortable with the idea because, you know, it's a bold move for, you know, future humanity to s admit they're coming out of their closet with their smoochie poo, you know? <laughs> Anyways, okay, who else? You gotta have, um, I don't care, I'm just gonna cram as many people into the film, they can have a little bit of screen time, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, I don't care how long the movie is, give me an intermission, and then pay me. Yeah. Anyways, um... Then through the movie, Samuel L. Jackson has to give great advice because he's so desperate to steal from them that he has to calm <laughs> them down. <laughs> so he can have a chance to have them stop moving around so he can try to steal something. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay. I got the ultimate idea. You gotta have... <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just too funny. Yeah. Okay. You have Sean Bean be in it, but Sean Bean is not in it. It's Sean Bean's stuntman that everybody thinks looks like Sean Bean, you know. Yeah. Scene yeah. Bean, you know. Yeah. And he nice. says his name is Scene Bean instead of Sean Bean. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It feels like he needs to have a rival... Like, in across the, the road, across the highway, 
and like you know he has you know possibly superior you know flowers and possibly superior desserts you know and like they're always fighting you know him and Sandra Bullock yes exactly trying to get more customers I like this yeah now there's the there's the you know sense of driving rivalry <laughs> you know it's great but it, um, you know, the, there's a uh, moose that keeps coming around, and you know, it keeps bullying everybody and trying to eat all the flowers they put out front yeah, of decorations. Definitely, everybody's afraid of the moose. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, even the dogs. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Ashton Kutcher is um done those camera commercials i guess he cares about cameras so it'd be natural that just because he knows i do that a little bit for the commercials he could be like a, a one of those annoying like wedding photographers or just does anything and he's like trying to drum up business so there's those two ends there so he comes around you know and he's like trying to like see if anybody's gonna get married you know because the couples are like on the edge of getting engaged, potentially, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> just imagine it. You up the ante. Like, you know how wedding photographers, like, try to, like, snoop and scope and then, like, get extra money and babes at the wedding? Like, they, they're scru unscrupulous. So, when you, like, make fun of that. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, it's just funny to me. I don't know. And Sandra Bull can be all like, go back to Scotland. It proves that Scottish don't have real hospitality because, like, why else did your bed and breakfast fail over there? Why are you across the street from me, huh? Why did you <laughs> take over from that old German guy? How many, like, invasions do we have to suffer here in America? You know, like, like stupid stuff like that, you know? Because everybody keeps, like, you know, doing the whole Popeye and Bruno thing where they keep yeah. going across the street to, like, check out the farmer's market over there and then go back and check out the desserts at the other place, you know, <laughs> just cause it's like funny and like, amusing. Yeah. I don't know. Hell yeah. That, you know, halfway house saloon place where everybody put too much energy into too many Hollywood movies there. Well, this kind of place here with the fancy bed and breakfast houses, you think we need to like certify that. So, you know, he was saying, we need to have his favorite uh, music celebrity. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, <laughs> you just have keys that show up like that classic ad where uh, where, uh, where Farrah Fawcett, I don't remember what her name is, I think so, no. gets out of a sports car and drinks like a, a Coca-Cola or something and then gets back in and kids go, well. Yeah, so right in the middle of the movie you're saying she just pulls up in an awesome car. In, like, a fancy, like, you know, dress and just, like, drinks all sweaty, like, drinks something out of the vending machine in slow motion. Yeah, that's it. That's and then, it, and then yeah. she just gets it and drives off. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Then it can also be a commercial for whatever her favorite drink is, you know? Yeah, exactly. It better not have corn syrup. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because, geez, you won't live very long. You'll explode. Yeah, no sugar, no corn syrup. <laughs> 